And now, from Hollywood, Academy Awards Movie Magic 2012. Shoulders back, tubbers in. In the next half hour, we'll get up close with all the major nominees for their candid comments and very personal feelings about the pictures and performances nominated for this year's Academy Awards. The buck stops here. Hi, I'm David Sheehan, ready to survey an Oscar race that's a real celebration of the tremendous diversity Hollywood is bringing us these days in subject matter and in performance styles, making this year's Oscar nominees a collection of truly outstanding talents. Now, to get an idea of the likely winners and the clear-cut front runners, all we really have to do is look at the awards that have already been awarded, like the Screen Actors Guild, the Golden Globes, and the kickoff that gets the whole process started, the Broadcast Film Critics Critics' Choice Movie Awards on VH1. Nominees for Best Actor. In fact, the Critics' Choice Best Actor winner is also this year's Oscar front runner. George Clooney. <laughs> Oh, thank you. George Clooney delivered vulnerability, reality, and charm in The Descendants as a real estate tycoon in Hawaii trying to reconnect with his young daughters when his wife, their mother, ends up on life support from a boating accident with a secret that has to come out. Who is he? I'd like to know who the guy is that my wife was seeing. What, what aspects of this guy did you relate to the most? I, I love the character of a guy who's just never won an argument, you know, in probably the last 20 years. And I liked, I liked, you know, I feel like it's a coming of age film for a 50 year old man, yeah, you know. Yeah. What's up, Dad? <laughs> you need to come home and see your mom. There's something about his heart, though. How, how, would, you, how would you describe what's in his heart? Well, uh, to, to do the things he does, I suppose it's a pretty big heart. I don't know that I could do it, but uh, but what I did love about him was he doesn't really he isn't really aware of the fact that he was failing so badly, you know. Okay, yeah, no, 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 no. Back inside, put on a swimsuit. Now. If we win with this team, we'll change the game. Brad Pitt earned his Best Actor nomination for his coolly commanding turn in Moneyball as the maverick general manager of the Oakland A's who pursues an unorthodox approach to make a baseball team win games. We got to think differently. That goes well beyond an underdog story and it thinks of ideas of value and how we we rate ourselves successfully or as a failure, and, and they bring up some interesting questions. What the hell am I doing? John Dujardin is an unusual Best Actor nominee for a role without words in The Artist, a black and white silent movie about a silent movie star played by Dujardin as he faces the career stifling advent of talking pictures. It's a, it's a dream because uh, it's a feel good movies and and um, the audience uh, loved the, the love story, the, the simple story, the, the cute dog. I'm going to have to send you into the lion's den. If you're caught, you can't mention me. Gary Oldman is a slightly unexpected nominee for Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy and his beautifully nuanced characterization of longtime spy George Smiley. What did you get this? Forced from retirement to find a counter spy within British intelligence. I've been waiting all my career to play, to play something like this. Where did it come from? It's nice to be the smartest man in the room. You are, in a sense, driving and motoring the scenes, but you're doing it from a very restrained, passive, place. I know who he is. Blasco's truck? It's not Blasco's truck anymore. It's ours. <laughs> you ain't got a license. Don't say that too loud, okay? The biggest surprise of all the nominees has to be Demi and Bashir for A Better Life. I'll make something out of this business. A father-son drama in which Demi and plays an undocumented Mexican laborer, the ever hopeful gardener named Carlos, always refusing to give in to frustration. Carlos Galindo is, uh all the great things that represent all the hard uh, working people that come to the U.S. Uh, in search of a better future, but uh, you know, also to uh, produce and uh, give to others. You are the most important thing in this world to me, mijo. Next, we'll look at the Best Actress race, which isn't quite as clear cut as Best Actor, but the nominees do have strong feelings about the roles they played, as we will find out in just a moment.
The best actress competition among Hollywood's leading ladies is always a fascinating lineup, and this year the Oscar front runner is not necessarily a sure thing. And the critic's choice is Viola Davis. <laughs> I am absolutely so humbled. Viola Davis won the Critics' Choice Best Actress Award for The Help. I was born 1911, Chickasaw County, Piedmont Plantation. And the dynamism and open-hearted enthusiasm she brought to her role as the first and most outspoken of the women who share their stories of life as housekeepers in the South. I thought I might write my stories down and read them to you. And no different than writing down my prayers. The backdrop is a civil rights movement, but what's at the forefront are these joyful relationships. They come out of that, they come out of a time of such strife. We gone done it now. <laughs> Meryl Streep was an also ran at the Critics' Choice Awards, but Meryl won the Best Actress Drama Golden Globe for her embodiment of England's first and only female Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher, in The Iron you Lady. You haven't got the courage for this fight. It's a detailed portrayal of a powerful woman in a man's world and what it took for her to survive. With all due respect, sir, I have done battle every single day of my life. Margaret Thatcher really did break ground. Watch your actions, for they become your character. She showed a way that a woman could be a leader. And watch your character, for it becomes your destiny. She didn't have a problem with how to lead, and so, in a way, men didn't have so much problem knowing how to follow. Gentlemen, shall we join the ladies? Started this heat wave. Michelle Williams has a slight chance for the more than slight performance she gave playing Marilyn Monroe in My Week with Marilyn as she faces her co-star, Sir Laurence Olivier, during the making of a movie that triggers her many eccentricities. What I came to realize was that Marilyn Monroe, how you commonly think of Marilyn Monroe, that was a character. That was, a, a, was an act, a finely honed act that she put on, that she developed over time. Shall I be her? <laughs> Marilyn. What's your name? Albert. Your real name, Albert. Glenn Close is on the list for her very challenging role in Albert Knobs as a woman who pretends to be a man so she can get a butler's job during the male-dominated 19th century in Ireland. What was it that uh, appealed to you most about the Albert Knobs dynamic? It's a simple story that, that kind of blindsides people emotionally. What did you get in touch with most to play that part? It's about survival, basically, uh, more than anything else. And I, and, I, and I think it's about the human, the basic human need for safety and connection. I've been thinking I might purchase a little shop a woman could serve at the counter. You're not thinking of taking a wife. Who do you think you are? Rooney Mara and her distinctively offbeat presence in the title role in The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo won her long shot nomination for the role of Elizabeth, the punkish computer hacker who helps Daniel Craig's journalist uncover some very disturbing truth. I got it. I think everyone at some point in their life uh, can relate to that feeling of being misunderstood or outcast and and so they really feel for her and, and they want to they want to follow the journey with her and see her succeed. Anything you chose not to disclose? Nothing that warranted inclusion. Is that a beautifully talented group of leading ladies or not? It's such a close race between Meryl Streep and Viola Davis, I'm hedging my bet and calling it a toss-up. Next, we look at the Best Picture Contest, and there's no clear-cut favorite there either, I love as we shall see in just a moment.